Hello everyone and welcome to the Assassination Rogue Guides and Reworks for the BFA Alpha. Um, as usual, we're going through the single target and then the AOE changes to the talents and rotations. So I'll go through that now. So for your first talent choices, they've got Elaborate Planning and Master Poisoner. And Dispatch, which is a new spell they've added in. I just take Master Poisoner because obviously... You're gonna your main source of damage is gonna be your poisons with your deadly poisons and your talents further down. So you just wanna take master poisoner all the time, just increases your damage of your poisons. Next one take Night Stalker, which is the same as um as it was in Legion. Same with sub Substifuge. But Master Assassin, which works kind of like the shoulders, the um the Legion shoulders, legendaries, which increase your crit coming out of stealth by hundred percent. Whereas Master Assassin just increases it by by 50% for 3 seconds after breaking stealth, so it's not as OP as it was for the legendaries, so that's why I'm taking Substifuge, so I can just keep Garrett up, and maybe Cheap Shot to get an extra 2 combo points on the target. Next one you want to take, Mark for Death, works the same as it did in Legion, Deeper Stratagem, but I just take Vigor because obviously I'm the increased energy by 50 and your re energy regeneration, you always want to take Vigor. Um, Legion Poison, Elusive Nerf, and Cheat Death. I always take Cheat Death just for PV situations. It's going to save you a lot of the time. So I just take Cheat Death. Next one, Prey on the Weak. Works the same as it does in Legion. Enemies disabled by your Cheap Shot. Or Kidney Shot, take 10% damage from all sources for 6 seconds. Iron Wire, increases the duration of Garot Silence. And Internal Bleeding. I just take Internal Bleeding because it's going to add another dot and another bleed onto your target. And Prey on the Weak, you don't really get a lot of use out of it. So always take Internal Bleeding. Next one, Exsanguinate. It's a new spell they've added in. Twist your blades into the target. The target's wounds, causing your bleed effects on them to bleed out 100% faster. I don't like this because if you don't have the energy to keep up your dots again, then it's just not going to be good. And it just kind of makes you use more energy than you have to. Um, Toxic Blade works the same as, as it does in Legion. But there's Venom Rush on this talent tree as well, so I'm always taking Venom Rush, Venom Rush for that extra energy. And it's just you get so much energy from Venom Rush, you just really need to take that. And now for the last talent, so the last talent tree for Rogues, so they've all changed. So Crimson Tempest, that was which was in um, Cataclysm and Pandaria, that has been added back, where it's just an AOE um, bleed. And Hidden Blades, which is basically the cloak legendary for assassination and sub where every two seconds gain 20% increased damage for your next fan of knives second up to 20 times and poison bomb you just always take poison bomb for um for single target it's it's bit kind of like legion where it's just all built out on poison bomb procs and it's just the the rng of poison bomb and obviously with master poisoner it's going to increase the damage of poison bomb so in venom average you have a 4% chance per combo point spent to smash a vial of poison at the target's location. So yeah, so you've got a 20% chance every um, every five combo point use. So what you the main thing you want to do is keep make sure you're keeping up Garrot as much as possible so the target's bleeding and keep up all your other dots and envenoms. Always make sure that you've got your deadly poison up. A lot of people forget. So you just gotta make sure you're keeping that up. So I'm just gonna hit this. So you always want to open up with the Garrot and the cheap shots, you get extra combo points. Then you want to use your mutilate to get your five combo points, and then use rupture. You want to use rupture first so that the target's bleeding, and then you use your envenom, so you're just um, poisoning them. Then you can use your envenom again. Vanish, so you refresh Garrot, and use cheap shot while you still have subterfuge. And reapply rupture before it fades. And just keep doing mutilate and envenom, so I'm poisoning the target. Mutilate. Now I can use another Envenom. Use another Envenom. And just Mutilate and Envenom. Just making sure you keep up Rupture all, at all times. So I'll just showcase this so I can get a Poison Bomb prop. So I'll just show me getting a Poison Bomb prop quickly. Just reapply Rupture. Come on, give me a Poison Bomb prop. As you can see, it's really RNG heavy. Like sometimes you'll get loads of procs, sometimes you won't. So now using Venom. Still no Poison Bomb. Let's try and get one again. So it's just all about RNG, really. And Venom. Venom. And just try and get one more in Venom. Or Rupture. It's fading. 
And let's get the Envenom off. So your main damage output is just going to be your poisons. So now I'll showcase the AoE for um, Assassin, which is looking better for rogues because they've changed a few talents, which make you allow you to do more AoE DPS. They change these talents quickly. So you want to take um, elaborate planning because you're going to be dealing more DPS, and you're going to get loads and loads of combo points, especially with fan of knives. You just want to make sure you use an elaborate planning. Next one you want to take is master assassin. Because obviously when you come out of stealth, you want to open up with a fan of knives. And tied in with hidden blades, which is one is which the AoE legendary you want AoE talent, sorry, you want to take. So if you're stealth, then you come out with a full um, with a full fan of knives, hidden blades. It's just gonna be really, really good. Um, internal bleeding again is really good. I always take vigor again just because of your more more and more energy. And cheat dev, obviously, so I don't die. Um, and for your for your 90 talent, it's really down to you what you want. I think Venom Rush is just going to be better because you're going to be mutilating as well, ju as much as possible. So I think Venom Rush is even better so you can have your e loads of energy to use on Fan of Knives and stuff like that. So if this was a two-target fight, I want to open up with Garrot on both targets so they're both bleeding. And then do a Fan of Knives. Just quickly Fan of Knives. And then just start mutilating and using Fan of Knives. And then I'll just dot up the targets both. Just keep dotting them up. And then I can start doing Envenoms now because I have, um, I've got my bleeds on all the targets, ruptures on all the part targets. So now I'll just Envenom. Use up a Fan of Knives when it's got loads of, when it's got loads of stacks. Use Vendetta on the target deal big damage to that target, reapply my um, dots, reapply my dot to this target, and use Envenom while it's downtime. So I've got high stacks on my fan next fan of knives, so I'll use my fan of knives now. Go back into stealth so I can reapply Garrot to the both targets, for one target, and reapply my dots. So it's basically about keeping your dots up as much as possible. You've, there's a few uh, spells which we've lost due to them being in the same talent tree, such as um, Venom Rush and Toxic Blade, so you won't have Toxic Blade as much now. But with the introduction of Hidden Blade, it's just going to allow rogues to do a lot and lot more AoE damage. And yeah, so it's looking good for Assassination Rogues. Not much has been changed from Legion, but that's all set to change. Um, like and subscribe if you want to see more guides, and see you in the next one.